Hello, this is Chad Smith with BC Gurus. Welcome to the introduction video for site templates. We're going to go over a few things you're going to want to learn when working with templates inside Business Catalyst. So some of the benefits when working with site-wide templates are speed of development, basically meaning you're only going to have to build out a few different pages in the development process. So if we look at our example over here on the DenverEgotist.com, and I just randomly picked this site from the internet, but they only have two basic layouts. So when developing this site, they only had to create two static pages, and then from then they can just build the template off of those pages. So they're all going to share common elements, so the navigation, the header, the logo search bar and the footer are common on every page. They're, they're pretty much the same. The only thing that changes is the content. The home page, which I know you can't see too well from this image, but it has a two column layout. The columns are about 50% of the page. And then when you move to like an inner page or any other page in the home page, you're going to go to a one thirds, two thirds layout. And the one thirds column on the right hand side has a two column layout inside that. So whenever they change the text on the navigation or update the footer, it's going to be reflected site wide. So when you're working with this inside Business Catalyst, clients can have access to these multiple templates. Say they want an inside page that has a, a two column layout instead of a one third, two thirds layout, they can just select that template and move on. So some of the, the videos that we're going to go over in this site templates module is going to be Dreamweaver setup. Where we'll go over how to import, create new business catalyst sites, and get those working within Dreamweaver. We'll go over some of the folder file structure and how BC Gurus handles the file structure for their project sites. We'll go over site templates and how to get your static HTML pages over to Business Catalyst template pages. We'll go over content holders and how they're used and what they're good for. Talk about some dynamic menus and go over the module menu 2 version. And then we're also going to be talking about site performance which will help uh, speed up your site and make it more efficient. There's also going to be some resources available from this module. It'll be a PDF with valuable reference links. We'll have a checklist for getting your static HTML into a BC template. We have the template folder structure that BC Gurus uses. And another checklist on site performance, which is going to be kind of a, a go live checklist to make sure your site is as efficient as possible. So that's what we're going to be going over and what the resources are. So let's get to that first video.